Anyone who visited the building will remember the elevators and their operators and starters. One man in particular stands out as a leader and a gentleman. Naaman Clark, working with J.L. Hudson Jr., sought to break the color barrier at the store. J.L. Hudson Jr., a man of ethics and, uh, uh, and great understanding. I was in a meeting one time, and I think Mr. Hudson was with the new Detroit committee at that time. And uh, we met, uh, they had management dinner once a year on the 12th floor in the auditorium. And the speech that Mr. Hudson gave to management at that time, uh, it, it, it was really uh, something to, to be proud of. Uh, especially during that time, uh, uh, integration uh, wasn't, wasn't moving along. And he told the, the company and the people what he wanted done and his goals and objectives. And at that time, I were perhaps uh, 800 men, uh, people in that store. Uh, managers, and I was probably the only black man in the store, uh, in the meeting at that time. And it, many times I would like to uh, have that speech that Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hudson wrote. <laughs> oh yes, Hudson's was, Hudson's was a unique place. I don't think you'll ever find it, uh, a place like Hudson's. Because even though you had these kind of things going on uh, uh, in Hudson, you could feel it and see it, but we all felt like a family, and we, we, we worked together. And uh, this was the kind of feeling that I think we all had in Hudson as a family. Promoted to elevator supervisor, Mr. Clark developed his all-female staff into the store's best representatives, known for their pleasant demeanor and knowledge of the store. We had a training period. Uh, each girl had to go through a training period, and, uh, and she had to know her merchandise. She had to know how to handle herself in dealing with people. Parents had to be tidy and, and, and upright, and, uh, and uh, before we would uh, go out to to meet our customers. Well, the ele elevator operators and starters was, was some of the best. They were some of the best. They spread so much goodwill and courtesy throughout the company. And uh, I am just proud of them to this day. Pride showed itself on the side of the building as well, with key events in the lives of Detroiters on display on the Woodward Avenue side.